I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a veteran for Veterans Day. I take three fingers at the top in the center and I put a dot. And going to the left I'm going to draw curve line down and over. Come back to the dot, draw another curve line to the right, over, connect. Come over here on the left and put a little straight diagonal down on the left and a little straight diagonal down on the right. Come back to the left, slightly curved line up, over, connect. Now we're going to mimic that line, make it a little bit smaller. Little straight diagonal on the left, little straight diagonal on the right. Come back to the left, skinny mini little slightly curved line up and connect. Come on the left side and draw a little straight line down on the left little straight line down on the right. Come back to the left, little curve line out, in, on the right, little curve line out, in. Come back to the left, straight line down, curve line over, leave it floating, right hand side, straight line down, curve line, connect. Come back to the left and draw a straight line down, Come on the right, draw a straight line down, come back to the left, draw a slightly curved line over, and connect. Come back to the left, and we're just going to draw a little curved line out on the left. Come on the right, a little curved line out on the right. Come over here, up to the left. You're going to come right about here in this space. We're going to draw a straight line curve line down, curve line, and leave it floating. Come back up to the top, straight line, curve line, connect. Come up on the top part and we're going to just draw a straight diagonal, curve line, off the page. Come up to this side, we're going to draw straight diagonal down, leave it floating, Come right about here and we're going to draw a curve line in and leave that floating. Come over on the left and we're going to draw a curve line up, down, off the page. These little lines we can connect on the left and the right. Come right over here on the right and we're going to draw a straight line out, curve line down, connect. And on the left, we're going to draw a straight line up, curve line down, connect. Come inside if you have room, and we're just going to draw some baby circles. One, two, three on the right. If you can fit them, one, two, three on the left. Come over here, and we're going to draw one, two, three baby circles and we're going to leave everything else alone. Now, come up to the top. Right about here we draw a straight line down, bam, it crashes into that, just leave it alone. Come over here, we're going to draw a straight line out, off the page. Come up to the top, put a dot. Straight diagonal up, down, come back to the left, straight line out, out, down, out, up, come on the right, straight diagonal down, up, connect, make a dot, straight diagonal up, down, straight line out on the right, straight line out on the left, straight diagonal in, down on the left, straight diagonal in, out on the right, straight line up, down, connect. Make a dot. Straight line up, down, straight line out, out, straight line in, in, straight line out, 
out, straight line up, straight line connect. Make a dot. Some of you will have more than me, some of you will have less. All depends on how you draw. Straight line in, up, connect, make a dot, up, down, out, out, in, in, down, down, up, down, connect. Now start over here on the left and let's just draw straight lines down, bam, until you can't go any further. Jump over, continue your line. Straight line down, bam. Jump over, straight line down. We're going to do that all the way across so you can't do it anymore. Then jump over and come down and do it on this side. And again, everybody's going to end up with a different amount because we all draw differently. Okay? I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this is pretty easy to color in, but let's start with this section right here. Now this is the back part of somebody's head, my soldier's head, my veteran's head. So we're just going to go ahead and give it some color. If you don't have multicultural crayons, you can just use your brown real light. We leave the top part white, that's his hat, but we come down and we do this section black, this section black, and it doesn't have to be real dark, dark black, but you do want it to fill in your space. Don't do your little circles, those are going to be a different color, but go ahead and do the black. I always say if it's hurting your hand, you're pressing too hard. Let that be your guide. All the way over and down. In between your baby circles if you can do it. Now take your yellow and you're going to do your baby circles yellow. Some of you might have metallic crayons and aren't you lucky. You can make these brass or gold or one of those colors. Okay? Then, the background, everybody should know, is going to be red, white, and blue. That's our flag if you're in the United States. So I do red, skip, it's A, B, A pattern, red, jump over, skip, A, red, white, and blue. This I think would be skipped. This will be red. Red. The other section should be white. And the last part is color very carefully around your stars blue. Leave the stars alone. They should be white. Red, white, and blue. Now, if you add a sailor, you can make your hat a sailor's hat. If you had a different colored uniform, camouflage, you could do that. There's a lot of things you can do coloring and drawing to make this your own veteran. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my veteran all colored in for Veterans Day or Memorial Day. And a quote I found said, A hero is someone who has given his or her life to something bigger than oneself. Okay, bye-bye.